The Endorphin Pro 4 is one of Saucony's long distance carbon plated super shoes. It's designed for fast tempo training and racing. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80Ks in the Endorphin Pro 4 and this is my full review. The Endorphin Pro used to be Saucony's top of the range super shoe. But then they launched this shoe, the Endorphin Elite. And the Endorphin Elite has an even more prominent forefoot rocker, which makes it feel even faster than the Pro. In this latest version of the Pro, Saucony makes some really big changes to differentiate it even more from the Endorphin Elite. The first big update is that they've added Power Run HG into the core of the midsole. And you can see a little bit of it sticking out here on the heel section. Power Run HG gives it a plusher, more relaxed ride. The second big update is that they've lowered the toe spring. So the forefoot rocker feels less prominent and it doesn't feel as punchy on toe offs compared to the Pro 3. As a result of these changes, the Pro 4 feels better on longer, slower runs compared to the Pro 3, which feels better on short, fast runs. It still works for a variety of runs, including easy, long runs, and intervals, but for me, it's best suited to marathon pace. For the really fast stuff like intervals, it's lacking a bit of oomph. On the outsole, they've made some really nice changes. Traction has improved because they've changed the pattern on the rubber, so it's more aggressive and it bites into the ground better. And they've also extended the rubber on the heel right to the edge of the shoe. So that makes it more durable for heel strikers. The upper is softer and more conforming than the previous version. And the best thing about it is that this new knitted tongue is attached on both sides. So there's no more tongue slide like on the Pro 3. This shoe does not fit true to size. The length is okay, but it's got a really narrow toe box. So I would definitely go up a half size if I had to purchase it again. This is not a shoe for wide footed runners. The Endorphin Pro 4 is vastly different to the Endorphin Pro 3. It's softer, it's more stable, it has a more grippy outsole, but the big downside is that it doesn't feel as fast as the Pro 3. And this is due to its plusher ride and its less aggressive forefoot rock. Personally, I prefer the Pro 3 over the Pro 4 because during workouts and races, I prefer more speed assistance over comfort. And the Pro 4 feels too relaxed to me. In my opinion, the Endorphin Pro 4 is not one of the top tier marathon super shoes. And it's actually gone down a level in my super shoe rankings. It is still, however, a really good marathon racer with no major flaws, provided you go up a half size. If Saucony can keep this at 225 US dollars, it'll continue to be one of the best value marathon racers on the market. If you love the Endorphin Pro 3 and you're excited for the Pro 4, let us know down in the comment section below. You can read my full written review on Running Shoes Guru. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe.